Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to do my 10 predictions for Kingdom Hearts 3. Some of them I'm still kind of iffy about. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think it'll definitely happen. But I think it's noteworthy and might be worth mentioning. So to kick off this list, Riku will die. Yes, I think he's going to die. Or at least one of the Guardians. Um... I think it'd be interesting if one of the seven guardians died because it is a Keyblade War and it would really impact the story if one of the characters died. I think Riku because he would be the mo most impactful death besides Sora and Sora's not going to die. However, I am also skeptical about this because it is Disney and I'm not quite sure if they would kill someone off but it would add a lot to the story if a character died. Coming in at number two I have Xehanort will win while also being defeated. It's kind of obvious he's already kind of won. Mickey and Yens had talked about it. They could either fight and they'll clash making Kingdom Hearts or they could do nothing and the seven hearts will be collected to make Kingdom Hearts. But I think his plan will inevitably fail. Sauron Company will defeat Xehanort even though he completes his final goal. And I think that would lead into the next game, Kingdom Hearts 4, where maybe Zygbo is the final boss or something. But I do think Xehanort will ultimately win. He'll just be defeated in the final battle. At number 3, Terra will regain control of his body and return to be one of the seven Guardians of Light. This is one that I feel like is kind of obvious. I'm not saying it's 100% going to happen, but if it doesn't happen, I think it will upset a lot of people. You need the Seven Guardians of Light to clash with the 13 Darknesses. So Terra needs to come back. I also think they're going to hype it kind of up in 2.8. So Terra need, needs to come back. At number 4, we have Sora will control his darkness. Now this one I was kind of afraid to put on the list. I'm afraid that people were going to be like, oh, what do you mean Saul will control his darkness? Well, quite frankly, I mean in KH2, uh, Sora has darkness within him, his darkness form. And in, and in Recoded, it's, uh, it's claimed that from the journal, you know that Sora has darkness within him. I think when he controls his darkness, he will gain some type of new ability or strength to it. And it'll kind of, it might substitute the forms because once Ventus awakens, he won't have a second Keyblade anymore. So I don't see like Valor, Wisdom, Final, and Master form being a thing anymore. At number five, multiple friends will help in the Keyblade War. And when I say multiple friends, I mainly mean Final Fantasy characters. The reason why I say Final Fantasy characters is because they seem like they're the only ones that are aware that there are multiple worlds since their worlds have already been destroyed. I understand that there are other characters that do know that there are the worlds like Donald's nephews and uncle, but they can't really help in the Keyblade War. They're not fighters or anything. It's really the Final Fantasy characters that help out throughout KH2 and KH1 in a, a little bit. So I think that they will find a way to help within the Keyblade War. Number six, we have we will learn more about Saw's darkness form from KH2. Now this is kind of the same as Saw will control his darkness. Um, I want them to explain like the meaning behind the darkness form. I don't think Nomura added it for no reason, so there needs to be some type of clarification as to why Sora had that darkness form and what it means. At 7, the Dandelions will make a return in the final battle. I've kind of talked about this in my in one of my other videos, and I don't mean the actual Dandelions, the original Dandelion group, I mean the next generation or the generation following, whatever. I don't, we're not quite sure how old the Dandelions are. Um, but, you know, the the next generation of Dandelions will, will help Sauron Company in the Keyblade War. I think that'd be really interesting because I, I imagine that the 13 Darknesses will have Heartless and Nobodies on their side. The Seven Guardians of Light are already overmatched. So if you had Heartless 
to the group, then they need some type of stipulation. At number 8, I have Zeno is Luxu. This is one I feel like is more of a personal opinion. I don't think that Zeno is the final boss. I actually think it's Luxu. I think Luxu, or rather, I think Zeno is Luxu's apprentice. And when Luxu got old enough, he took over Zeno's body, like kind of like how Zeno has been taking over every else's body. I think Zeno is just his cover up, and I think he is Luxu, and that would explain why he has his Keyblade. At number 9, final romance between Kairi and Sora. I think their romance will finally become a thing. It'll be like official. I think there'll be like some type of love scene maybe, like Sora saves Kairi again. Something like that. Something cheesy. And number 10, I think Sora will own the title of being a Keyblade Master. I, it's not To me, it's not important that he becomes a Master, but I think after everything he's been through... I think he's more than worthy of a title, and I think in 3, maybe there'll be like a short thing where Master Yen said that tells him he is on the title of being a master, instead of making him go through another mastery test. I don't know if these things will happen, I feel like most of them are likely to happen, and other ones I'm just kind of hoping that will happen. I'm really trying to grow my channel, so if you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button and please subscribe to me. And I will see you in my next video.